Hello guys and welcome back to the Cardiff City Manager Career episode number 3. So yes guys, welcome back to episode number 3 of the Cardiff City Manager Career. Now in the last episode, we ended up drawing both of our first games of the Premier League 18-19 season with Bournemouth and Newcastle, which I thought were pretty important games for us. I thought we could have got a win, especially the Newcastle one at home. You'd expect to get a win against lower sides like this. We've got another one against Huddersfield today, and we'll also play the game against Arsenal at... Is that at home or away? I'm not sure, but uh, it is at home actually. So that should be an interesting one as well. Looking forward to playing those, but... We have some suggestions, as per usual, as you uh, as you guys like to leave them in the comments. If you do want to leave your suggestions in the comments and be featured in the next episode, then please do so, and I'll have a look through. And this team will sort of be our own creation, our own, um, you know, we'll, we'll merge together and create the team. This is the current team as it stands. We've got Heaton in goal, Cunningham, Fry, Morrison, Klein, Kamarasa, uh, Benassa, Moy, uh, Origi, Cavalier, and Sessignon. Uh, as our front three. Now, you guys have had your say. Let's see what you guys have been saying. So, Harry Robson says, try to get Matt Ritchie from Newcastle or Triore from Borussia Mönchengladbach. I think you say that. Um, and I've actually shortlisted these guys already for you guys. So, uh, yeah, this is these are the two players he suggested. Matt Ritchie, he's 28 years old, so he's getting on a bit. Could be a good option. I'm not sure, though. What I'll do, though, is uh, I'll leave him for now, and as as well as Traore as well. He's obviously gone for two right mids. He's identified the fact that we may need a right mid, but currently we are running Sessignon, so I don't think that's an immediate issue uh, for us. He looks like a very good player. He is 30 years old, though, Traore. So a definite option for the future if Sessignon Young doesn't perform, you know, Assessing Young is 18 years old, I mean, he's not particularly good at the moment, but uh, in one of the future comments you'll be seeing in just a moment, uh, we'll be able to try and improve him uh, very much so. Right, okay, uh, the next comment is from the Game Potato, and he says, try training the younger players, uh, their rating and transfer value goes up after a while, and that is a very good suggestion, because I think for players like Sessing Young, Calvert-Lewin, real good potential, you know, young, young, young players, look at this, uh, look at this Calvert-Lewin, 21 years old, 18 years old for Sessing Young, Origi's 23, we bought all these front three so these are our this is going to be our front three for a while unless someone comes in with a big old bid for uh, Origi, Cavalier or Sessignon so I think we need to focus on that front three we're lacking goals at the moment so I will do the training and I'll do that right now so let's try and focus on our front three I think Sessignon really really does need to be improved so let's uh, let's try and uh, simulate all of those and see how they do B C B D A so not too bad uh, in those front three so that there we go, that improves our front three, not too bad. Uh, none of them have actually gone up a rating, but good suggestion. I'll try and do that more in the series. And finally, the comment from the real Booba says, good fit, thank you very much. Uh, the next place you go for, if you get more money, is a Colombian centre-back, Balanta. And I've actually uh, already prepared uh, Balanta in the transfer hub. And I think this is a very good uh, suggestion, a very good signing suggestion. We are lacking uh, a particularly good defender next to Morrison. You know, Fry's good, but he's 70 rated. He's, you know, he's not top quality is he? he's not the quality that you need in the premier league uh overall looking at his stats pretty good 511 left footed the only issue with him is his high attacking and high defensive high defense is great for a center back but it's that high attacking work rate which could be a bit of an issue he's a center back slash cdm as well so it could work for us you know a bit, bit of a versatile player but i might actually go for this guy balanta he's only 25 years old he's from colombia and i think we do need that extra solidity so what i might do is i might approach him to buy I'm just going to go straight in for the approach and see if we can maybe swap some, maybe one of our centre-backs for him. Uh, but we'll see what, uh, is it is it Basil want, uh, want to do? So let's have a look. Centre-backs, let's have a look who, we, who we're prepared to uh, to swap. Could we swap Bruno Equal Manga possibly? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, they're interested actually, they're interested. Transfer sum of 8 million. We don't have 8 million. 5 million pounds for him right there. 5 and 90, it doesn't matter. Five million? Is they going to accept it? Oh, six point one. That's that's difficult for us, isn't it? We, hmm. I think we we do need. I I, I think the reasoning behind um, getting rid of Equal Mango is he's quite old, uh, and I, I'm I'm happy to edit the sell-on clause to eight uh, percent for five point five million. They might accept that. Yeah, there we go. They've accepted that. So now let's let us negotiate contracts. You might be a little bit expensive on the old contract, so I'm preparing for that. Pilkington's transfer uh, talks broken down. So Pilkington has been sold, 375 grand for the transfer uh, budget. Stoke are interested in Equal Manga, and uh, San Lorenzo want Loic de Moor. So I'm pretty interested in selling Loic de Moor uh, to these guys. 720 grand is not a bad offer. I'm going to negotiate that really quickly. 840, please. 
yeah, they're happy with that. Excellent. Actually, we're coming to the end of the transfer window, but uh, yeah, looking forward to contract negotiations. Yeah, let's let's do those let's do those negotiations right now. Let's negotiate with him. Let's see what he wants to do. Actually, have our players gone up yet? No, they haven't. Um, yeah, I think we'll I think we'll probably negotiate with him. I don't know what contract he was on before, but we're not gonna you know we're not gonna dwell on that too much. We're gonna just go straight into it, and yeah, see how much he wants because it's it's always better when they sort of drive the negotiations. It's always better like that. Uh, crucial is good. That's all right. It shows he's eager. Uh, four years is fine by me. Uh, let's have a look what else he says. We don't want a release clause. I'm happy with that. Don't like release clauses on players. I'll be honest. Uh, 21 grand. Yeah, we we can do that. 21 grand, 195,000 pound signing bonus, and 10 clean sheets gets him 290 grand. Lovely stuff, guys. We have got the centre back that you guys suggested. Let's have a look how good he is. Balanta to go alongside Morrison and using Fry then as our reserve. Balanta is 76 rated. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Good signing, I think. You know, really solidifying that defence because we've had a few issues with that. Uh, you know, letting in a sloppy goal at, um, well, at home against uh, against Newcastle. So I think that's a pretty good sign now. You know, we got a good midfield. I'm happy with the defence. Uh, possibly a left back in the future. Heaton is getting on a bit, 32 years old, but I think he should still be fine. Klein, obviously, 27 years old, still a very good player. Uh, and our front three is looking good. So I think we should get straight into the first game of the episode. Uh, it is going to be against Huddersfield away, I think. Oh, Bennett's got a transfer of 2 million from PSV. Interesting stuff. He's 28 years old. I'm thinking that's a good offer, you know. 2.5, you know what, that'll do. Thank you very much. GG's. Let's get us straight into our first game. Away against Huddersfield. It has a feeling of a must win about it. A must win feeling about this game. So, let's see how we do away against Huddersfield. Okay, so guys, here we are for... The third game in the 2018-19 Premier League season. A huge game. Huddersfield against Cardiff City at the Kirkley Stadium. Should be pretty exciting stuff. Uh, the teams are out. You know, they got they got a good side. We've obviously got uh, Aaron Moy from. Let's have a look at the sides. Uh, obviously, uh, Balanta is on his debut. Number two, 25 years old. 5.5 million. Uh, yeah, what a what an exciting game. Though. You know, we really, really have got to win this game. And there he is, the main man, Balanta. The centre-back partner to Sean Morrison, the 25-year-old from Colombia. It's going to be an exciting game. And look at all the players walking past the walking past the Cardiff players. They got they got some good quality. You know, they got some good quality in their team. Obviously, we've taken one of their one of their best players in Aaron Moy, but I think we have also improved in some areas. So uh, yeah, it should be should be pretty exciting. I think they have Patterson as well. Do they have Patterson? Let's have a look. This is Huddersfield Town. Lucille in goal. They've got Durham, Jorgensen, Schlindler, Congola and Lowe. So they've gone for a five at the back formation. Hogg, Diwara and Patterson in the centre mid. So an ex-Cardiff City player. Depotra and Mooney, uh, Mooney in, the, in the striker. And uh, there are their uh, there are the, uh, substitutions there, uh, the subs. And here's the Cardiff City team. Tom Heaton in goal. We've got Nicline at the right back. Morrison, Blanza and Cunningham completing the defence. Victor Camarasa, Albanas, and Moy in the midfield, the ex-Huddersfield player, Sessignon Origi, and of course the striker of Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Let's see how we do in this game, the third game of the Premier League season, 2018-19. New debut for Balanta, and uh, an important game for us. We really need to show that we can uh, compete in this league against sides that we really should be beating. Here is Victor Camarasa, possibly an upgrade needed in the future for him. Balanta has his first action to do, and he's already given the ball away, Balanta. Oh no, he's given the ball away straight to Depotra up front. Balanta's got to do his first bit of defending, has he? he sort of uh, jockeys him a little bit and Balanta comes in. Oh no, they've shot and it's a good save from Tom Heaton himself. Doing really well ever since he came to the club, which is awesome. Camarasa though, picks up the pieces. Cavalier on his right side. Cuts outside, back inside. And it's a good block from their defenders. Actually, Garigi though, has picked up the ball. Comes to Victor Camarasa. Oh. oh, it's a penalty. Yes, he's, he's tackled us in the box. I don't know who it is. Schindler has tackled Victor Camarasa in the box. It is a penalty for Cardiff City. I mean, it should be. It, I think it is. It should be, isn't it? Isn't it offside? No, it is. Oh, that's a dangerous one. He's just gone through him as soon as he tackled him. Straight through the man. Okay, this is it. Who's the best at penalties on this team? I think it's got to be... Yeah, it's going to be Moy. Going to be Moy for his first Cardiff City goal against... His former team, Aaron Moy. Oh, he saved it. The keeper saved it. He went left and so did the keeper. 
keeper dived down to his right and his opportunity to score against his old club in the Premier League in such an important game has been squandered for Aaron Moy. But here is Calvert-Lewin oh, trying to make up for that missed penalty. That's a real nightmare, guys. Oh, no. Oh, what a save. Calvert-Lewin is injured. It's going to test our squad, isn't it? You know, he's going to really, ex really expose some dangerous areas. And what's Tom Heaton doing? He's just run. He hasn't thought about the ball. Diva Carigi's trying to chase down here. They're a bit dangerous in defence. Oh, wow. Now look at this. Oh. De Potra there nearly getting a nice goal. Tom Heaton, they're going to clear it up. I think the both teams have had equal, you know, equal amounts of the of chances. But here is uh, Sessignon. Ryan Sessignon to Calvert-Lewin. Oh, he has a shot, but it's a good block. He's chasing it down, actually. It's going to be a corner. Really good there. Really good pressure. Chased him down. And that is it. That's half time. It's nil-nil again. <laughs> uh, we're very unexciting at the moment. Um, I think some, yeah, some sort of custom tactics need to be improved. Um, Calvert-Lewin seems okay, though. Uh, no, no real issue with him uh, so far, which is good. Okay, Calvert-Lewin gives it to Origi. Tries to put it through to Calvert-Lewin. Hasn't quite got the pace to get there, but Calvert-Lewin clears up. Calvert-Lewin gives it to uh, Ryan Sessignon. Ryan Sessignon. Oh, on this, on this right side, done brilliantly. Ryan Sessignon! Oh, no, it's that finishing touch. It's that finishing touch. A lovely bit of skill in the corner, and he just... Yeah, just showing his lack of quality, maybe. Uh, we're gonna put we're gonna put Reed in that midfield, I think. Um, I'm gonna bring on Harris as well for um, yeah. I'm gonna bring on for Arigi. We'll also put Ward up front. Uh, I think should we put Ward or could we put Kakana in? Let's put Ward in up front instead of Calvert Lewin to change things up a little bit in the strikers. Uh, Reed in the midfield as well could offer a bit of a uh, midfield running, which is what I'm looking for here. Kadeem Harris, here is Calvert Lewin there. Moy. Calvert Lewin. Oh, go on. It's Victor Camarasa. I'm about to take him off, actually. Camarasa! And he scored. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. 1 0. Oh, yes. That's such a relief. I'm about to take him off with his left foot. He finishes it. In the bottom right corner. What a relief. What a ball from Calvert Lewin. He hasn't been able to pass the ball all day. And the time when it mattered, he comes up with something like that. And Victor Camarasa is now off the pitch. But what he's done there. Is, a, is probably one of the most crucial goals we've scored this this entire season so far. Well, the, well, it's only the second goal, really, but you know what I mean. It's a crucial one, guys. And that is it, guys. It's our first win of the season. It's not even first win of the Premier League season. It is our first win as Cardiff City manager. And there we are, shaking the hand of the Huddersfield manager. And look at that, guys. It's static with that, with that finish. I think we should have been 2-0. Uh, realistically, we should have we should have put that penalty away, uh, which could have changed the entire game, obviously. And, and uh, Tom Heaton made some very good saves uh, as well. And this one in particular, what was going on here? I mean, look, that's crazy. I don't know what he was doing, but he saved it off the line really, really well. And uh, yeah, so close. But what we did there was very, very good. We just about squeezed the one nil victory. And Victor Camarasa, as I was saying before, we may need to upgrade him. He's gone and got the goal. So, bit of a dilemma now. A bit of a dilemma. What do we do? Do we take out Camarasa or do we keep him in because of that goal? Do we want to reward him for doing well in the team? But let's have a look at uh, some future games. So we're going to be uh, going up to the end of the transfer window. So you guys can still suggest your players that you want me to assign. But obviously we'll have to put them on the list. We'll have to sort of uh, inquire and stuff like that. Do you say? He looks pretty good, doesn't he? Five foot nine. Left footed. Agility, stamina, short passing. He could be a good player. And that's the thing, guys. Do we just go for someone now? Do we just go for someone and hope that they're good? But I'm thinking defensive uh, ability is more important at this stage. Uh, interception is good. Strength is not too great. But what he has got is pretty damn good stand tackle and slide tackle. So should we try and loan him in? They're not looking to loan him out. We might try and buy him. Might be able to, might be able to try and, I don't know, give a swap going here. See if we can get a swap. Bennett's, yeah, we haven't, we haven't actually got rid of Bennett yet, and they're actually interested in Bennett. 2.5 million for that as well, which is not what we want. We want to we want to get him for like a million. I'm thinking maybe one point, because I, I don't want him to walk out on this deal. Should we go for 1.3? Should accept that, shouldn't he, really? 1.3 million. He's come all this way for 200 grand, and that's, that's you know, could be the make or break for us. This guy could be quite good. Ashley Seal. 
might be open for a loan. Benny Ashley Steele, he's six foot two. His best stats are sprint speed and acceleration, but they're not looking to loan him out. Maybe even looking at Ashley Seal. Maybe just looking at him for, for a purchase. You know, maybe a maybe a straight swap for somebody. There we go. Ashley Seal for Murphy. That's that's what I wanted, really. Straight swap. Ashley Seal could be a new striker. If he's good, he could, you know, make his way into the team. I think we need a little bit of competition in the team to uh, improve that front three. He's going to be bad. He's going to be bad. But what he, what he offers is, is a 19... What we have is a 19-year-old for a player that we're never going to use in Murphy that could be really good. It says signed a top player in the uh, description there. You know, Ashley Seal, he's only 60 rated. I mean, look at him. He's, he's rubbish, really. But you never know. You never know. Like, some of these players can come on and really, really make a difference. So, not the best signing in terms of rating. Now, I was originally going to take out to Camarasa, but after that goal, we can't leave him out, can we? And here we are. It is the Cardiff City Stadium for a huge game against Arsenal. Should be pretty exciting stuff. You know, it's going to be an end-to-end -end game, um, really, because Arsenal are going to be pushing. They're going to be really trying to get this goal. They should win this game, but we might sneak a few chances in. You know, we've got a new midfielder. We've got, a, you know, a new sort of spine of the team, really, haven't we? So I think we have a bit of fight in us. I think we uh, I, th I think we can be able to, uh, to, to compete here. I believe in it. Right, OK, here we go then. Aubameyang, we can't, can't keep up with him. He's so quick. Oh, no, look at this already, Heaton. Clears it really well, though. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, here is this. Oh, no. Arigi gives it to Sessignon. Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin! Oh, it's not good enough. Nowhere near good enough. But that is it. It's half-time. It's nil-nil, which is really pleasing. You know, against a side like Arsenal, we haven't been dominated either. I don't think... You know, on the ball, maybe Arsenal are, you know, a lot better quality than us. They've only got, you know, we've had 58% possession. But look at those shots, you know, four to four to two and three on target to two. So, Arsenal have been very consistent. They've been very solid. They've been very patient. But I don't know, will that patience pay off for them? Let's find out in the second half here. Doesn't quite get it to Sessignon. You know, obviously, not a, a natural right winger. Sort of adapted by there by me. But... I, I, I feel as though that's his best position. Play like Mo Salah on that right side, cutting in. Oh, no. Oh, it's a good save from Heaton. It's offside anyway, but whew, that was close. We've done really, really well. And here is Origi running through. Gets it through to Ryan Sessignon. Can he prove his quality? Ryan Sessignon. Oh, it's a good save. Calvin Lewin, where's the ball in? Oh, it's a good, good block for that corner. Ooh. Okay, Moy whips the ball in with a real bit of pace on it. Morrison. Oh no, Morrison winning that header and now Pierre with Gabamiang is through. Are they gonna finish it? They are, unfortunately so. Oh no. That's a great finish, isn't it? You know, all it takes is one through ball like that. Who was it? Balanta, who doesn't quite get there. Carver Lewin's coming off and the debut for Ashley Seal should be pretty exciting stuff. And Sessing was coming off. Arigi, Harris, and Ashley Seal as our current uh, as our new front three. Look at this, though. Good, uh, a good block, and it's uh, it's a corner for them. Bringing on our new front three, well, our new front two of the front three. Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck has gone and scored their two nil up. I think it's undeserved. I really, really do. I know it sounds stupid, but I think it's undeserved. Arsenal two nil against us today. Really undeserved. Um, this this guy actually, do you say, has been absolutely brilliant in that midfield? Absolutely fantastic. But Lance has got to get there. He does so really well. We got Chelsea next as well. Recent signing of Gareth Bale for them. Go on, Ashley Seal for his goal. Oh, what a goal from Ashley Seal! What a finish! It's it's two one. Ashley Seal, man, what a ball from Moy. I just didn't think that was going to go in, and he finished it like a bullet. Okay. You know what? He's come on, and he's made an instant, immediate impact. Can we now get a get a goal to bring it all square? Wouldn't that be fantastic? And that is it. It's full time. In fact, it's ended on a high for us. It's ended on a positive note. Uh, you know, obviously, results-wise, it's not great. But pff, Ashley Seal coming on and... Really performing really, really well.
you know, he got the goal, his first shot in a Cardiff City shirt, and he's he's just absolutely, yeah, he's absolutely boomed it in the top left corner. Sessignon less impressive, I'm going to be honest. Sessignon has been less impressive. And I think Origi needs to go on that right side. Or Origi can stay on the left. And let's bring let's bring Ashley Seal in. Let's bring Ashley Seal into that front three. Do you say did really, really well? Uh, for his debut, excellent. Really good. Uh, let's change the instructions so that it's um so that it's permanent. You know, Ashley Seal done really well in that last game. Away against Chelsea is not gonna be an easy one, is it? It's not gonna be an easy one. It's gonna be quite a difficult one. But you never know. You never know what could happen. I think it's important to try some different players as well in this in this team. So obviously we're we're starting with Ashley Seal instead of bringing him on. Could be a bit dangerous against Chelsea, but you know what? Could be the new uh, could be the new Mbappe. You never know. And here we are at Stamford Bridge, the home of the Blues, for this big game. You know, for Chelsea, if they need to win. Eden Hazard. They've obviously recently just signed a Gareth Bale as well, which could uh, bolster their attack. Um, a must-win game for Chelsea, you know, really a must-game win for Chelsea, but off the back of a promising performance against Arsenal, Cardiff City will be looking for a, uh, a, quick, a quick response to, uh, to the 2-1 to the loss. Uh, you know, the quality they've got in their side, really impressive. Rob Green in goal, Zappacosta, Glick, De Ligt and Emerson complete the back four. Kovacic, Loftus-Cheek and Barkley in the midfield. A lot of youth in there. Moses, Morata and Hazard up front on the bench. One of their new signings, Gareth Bale, and Golo Kante and Olivier Giroud. They've gone for a younger team. They've sort of gone for a suppressed Chelsea team. And Cardiff City are experimenting, of course, with some, uh, with some new players. No sight of, uh, of Ryan Sessignon in the starting eleven this time. But Heaton starts in goal. Klein, Morrison, Balanta, Cunningham. We've got Camarasa, Diuse, and Moy. After impressing in the last game, Diuse, I'm sure, will be looked to uh, provide some midfield stability. Ashley Seal, Origi, and Calvert Lewin complete the starting eleven with Sessignon on the bench. A different team, a different team to what played against Arsenal, which is which is difficult. You know, it's difficult to, to perform with that because obviously, you know, we've changed so much uh, of, of our game style. But what I'm looking forward to, what I'm looking for as well is just keeping the ball, keeping in the game, staying in it, not getting absolutely destroyed, and just showing what we can do in it and looking at areas we can improve on. And here is Calvert-Lewin there. We're not necessarily looking for a real result here. That's not my main focus. I'm trying to put it through to Ashley Seal, who's already on the ball. Gives it inside to Calvert-Lewin with a shot. He's never scored a goal for Cardiff City, but he's already got a corner. Kicks it out to Hazard, though. Klein's got a very difficult job to do today, trying to handle that guy. Morata there, though. It's really good though, Aaron Moy. Clearing it up actually to uh, Ashley Seal. Calvert Lewin gives it up to Ashley Seal on his second game in the Cardiff City shirt. Can he get another goal? Ashley Seal! Oh, he's oh, he's only gone and done it. Ashley Seal has put us 1 0 up against Chelsea. He is a goal scoring machine. The 60 rated 19 year old from Wolves. The deadline day transfer signing has only gone and put us 1 0 ahead. What a finish! You know, just to make the space and get into the area and, and, and receive the ball really well. Changes the face of the game, doesn't it? A really promising start from Cardiff City and exactly what we could have wanted uh, to kick off this game. Calvert-Lewin is given the job to just win headers. You know, he's, he's, he's given the job to win headers. I don't think he really fills that job too well. But what he's going to be is an investment. I don't think he's a particularly, you know, quality player to play with. But he, he, you know, his rating's high. We could get some... Oh, no! Look at that! That is a nightmare. Of all the ways to give away a goal. Tom Heaton goes to... Kick, look at this. He goes to kick the ball, but it, he just gets... He should have waited for uh, Morata. That's what I should have done. Should have waited for Morata to... Uh, and look at that. We've just gifted Chelsea a goal and a way back into this game. Oh, no. That actually seal uh, chance now looks a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more important, doesn't it? Calvert Lewin. Divock Origi. Can he get there? He can. It's Divock. Oh, what a goal. Divock Origi. He is just brilliant, isn't he? He is just brilliant. What he's gone and done is he's pulled us straight back into the game. Oh, wow. Oh, no. This is this is incredible. 
you know, look at this. Who was it? Klein on that right side, giving it to uh, Carvalhoon, who plays it lovely ball to Di Vokarigi. And he finishes it with some power. As I'd look at him. Just dancing around our defenders. Moyes trying to get there. And look at that. And Kovacic has gone and he's, they've run in. Who was it? Who was it? Whose man was it? I don't know. Maybe Balanta. I'm not sure, though. 2-2. Two -two, what a game. In the first half, four goals already. That is it. It's half time. It's 2-2 two -two in this huge game for Chelsea. You know, they really, really need to win this game now. They need to come out a lot stronger. But Cardiff City, they're holding their own. We really are. I, I, I just think... You know, I just think they've got a bit lucky, really, with their goals. You know, our goals have been of pure quality. Um, and it, it just seems like the game is switched. We should be the ones getting the lucky goals, and they should be the uh, the ones providing the quality. But there we go. Uh, that is half time. No real uh, weak points so far. Requirements for change, let's say. Um, I think everyone's been performing to an acceptable standard. Heater makes the same save again. Just, just gets it clear. That's all we want. They brought off Moses. Who are they bringing on? Oh no. And look at that. It was an assist from the substitute Gareth Bale. And look at that. Delict at the back post gets the goal. And look at all this work we've done. It's just going to waste. It's it's again it, it it's playing really well. But not quite doing it. And here is Origi though. Can we can we bring it back level? Origi! Yes, he's only gone and done it. Origi, his second goal of the game. A similar sort of goal to all three, really. And he's just been quality today. Origi, another ball from Calvert-Lewin, done really well to make the space. And look at that. We are absolutely popping in the attack. So dangerous on the attack, Chelsea. They've got so much quality, like Arsenal. Clear it. Clear it. We couldn't get it clear. Bale again wins the header. And it's a simple finish for the guy in the end. It's full time. We've lost 4-3. Two losses in today's episode. But one win as well. But it's just that. Yeah. Just one of those dangerous games where you think you're going to get there and they just kill you off with quality. It's Chelsea 4, Cardiff City 3. And Dominic Calvert-Lewin yet again getting... A really impressive man of the match rating. He hasn't scored for the club. He hasn't scored, but he did provide the, the three assists for all three goals. And that's something that he does do really well, to be fair to him. He does offer those assists. He might even be the top assister in the league at this stage, you know. And I think that's probably going to be probably going to be what it is. Let's have a little look. Calvert Lewin is top assist. He's got five assists in five matches. And I think something to do with that is 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 the quality of someone like Ashley Seal and Origi running off him. Uh, I don't think he had that with Sessingil, which is really impressive stuff. But that'll be about it, though, guys. If you did enjoy that episode uh, today and you want to have your suggestion um, featured in the next episode, then be sure to leave that in the comment section. Let me know what I should do with the team and some future signings for the January transfer window. What do you think I should do? Should I play Ashley Seal up front, Calvert-Lewin on the wing, Calvert-Lewin in the midfield? What do you guys think? And let me know of any free transfers that you'd like me to do as well. Maybe even look into some youth players, but let me know. What do you think I should do? How are we going to keep this team in the Premier League and what... Uh, and how, how are we going to do it all together? Let's see uh, if we can do well in the next episode as well. So if you're looking forward to that, then be sure to leave a like. Ring. If you enjoyed this this episode today, uh, then be sure to leave a like. Ring. And subscribe if you're new to the channel so you never miss a video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.